YouTube, what's going on? It's Wednesday. I've had a three week break from the races. Haven't really touched the dirt bike, but getting my rest in was super, super worn down. So just been trying to rest and recoup. Come into Unadilla fresh. We got a bit of a mess. The program is honestly at an all time low right now. And I'm not even talking about for organization. Uh, if you guys remember at Washougal, we blew a radiator hose, ran the sucker out of coolant until she died. Still ended up running the motor because no choice, but I was very suspicious of how she was going to hold up in the long run. And what do you know, brand new top end has like 30 minutes on it. Looks like this now. Sick. Got a lot of use out of that. Solid. And then, of course, it's in the contract to take out the head and the cylinder as well. Got the cylinder all beat up in there. I'm not turning the flashlight on. Y'all are gonna have to take my word for it. Back to the stock head and cylinders. So now all we got as far as modifications are a pipe and some V-Force reeds. So needless to say, our work's gonna be cut out for us, but I already said it once, but it's kind of in the contract. I raced a 2D2 truck against 450s. It's kind of mental, but damn it, we love it. It's Thursday morning, solid start to the weekend. Left my helmet and chest protector out to dry. Chest protector will be fine, but left the helmet out to dry and it's raining. For sure, dude. Here we are. Got a top driver this week. I ain't got to drive by myself. Let's go. Let's go. Got the load. Ever heard of activities? No room for them. We got a little more room in the back than usual. Didn't forget the canopy this time. Stoked on that. Got a subframe just in case of emergency. She's jammed. You ready or what? first gas stop we're somewhere somewhere out here in virginia we found something that might help me out just right here at the gas station your training headquarters for all things moto i can't even make a national i could really use some training hey we're gonna have to make a pit stop sign me up yeah here we are our first stop thursday night we're in new york we're at the end well motel it says i thought that it was gonna live up to his name i didn't really think this was gonna end well but Surprise! It's really not too bad. What do you think, babe? Not too bad of arrangements. Great. They Could... didn't stop the fridge, though. Ah, oh, shoot. Could be worse for 68 bucks. Got all the utilities in here. Wheels. Cooler. We got the bike. Got the bike sitting right next to the AC. We had some overheating issues at Washougal. So, we're making sure she stays cool in the hotel tonight. We're taking all precautions we can. No choice. Is that a bullet hole? <laughs> we made it. Unadilla MX National. I believe some call it Una fucking Dilla. What do you think, babe? You ready? I call it Una fucking Dilla. That's right. Hey, top driver. Thanks for all the driving. I only drove like three hours all the way here. This has been a dream come true. She doesn't look half bad either. Thanks. <laughs> I get my pass. Yeah, top mechanic. She may not be touching the bike, but oh, that just guarantees she won't cause me a mechanical. A little pre race activity going down. Cody Groves has got to be heading over there any second. We're here at the legendary Unadilla. We're trying to make a statement first thing this morning. Shout out to my boy Brad from Big MX Radio and Verb Moto. He hooked us up. Stand up. Do full like. He hooked us up with 2002 Fox gear. 21 years later in 2023, we're repping it. It's baggier than shit. Kind of feels like I would imagine LBZ would feel, but it's tight, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, don't sleep on the 2002 box here, dude. Hey, dude. Don't sleep on it. You beat me up? I'll suck you up. How you feeling? Oh, yeah. <laughs>
our lap, a little slip of the clutch, and we were good to go. Ended up 40th in my practice, so that's not any good at all. And then I just looked at the 250 practice, which was right after us, and pretty much flabbergasted. Uh, 250s, which I'm on a 250, literally like a second off Dax Benick, a second off Levi Kitchen, faster than Pierce Brown, all of my stops smoke, and yet I'm not even close to making the motos in the 450 class. So, I don't even know what to say about this. Hey, we know what we're up against. We're gonna have to pull two seconds out of our ass, and I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna try. No choice. Got someone in a Maddie B T-shirt. Feeling good? Got some rest? Oh no, I don't rest your teeth. I felt like I was ripping, but I was 40th, so I wasn't wasn't good enough. It was pretty much motor wide. Brought me a marker and they made me my own poster. I'm slacking and they're not lacking. Let's go. Yeah. That's Man. sick. Thanks, wow. boys. This is sick. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it scared me. Oh, yeah, great pick. You killed me. Out of the track for second practice, it didn't go very hot, and I'm getting freaking reamed. What's wrong? I ran all over the track for you to do one fucking fast lap. <laughs> I told you, Team Pride messed me up on one, and I messed myself up on the other. If you didn't go so slow the rest of the time, you would have had time for more fast laps. Confidence is high going into the LCQ, folks. Stay tuned. I'm pissed. LCQ time, baby. Let's go. Too used to this shit. Nah. This time we're gonna make it. Getting ready for the LCQ. What's up, Manny B? We're pulling for you. He's in the LCQ without a choice. <laughs> you too. Stock bike. Hey, in this one we're going to have Kevin Hewitt, Kevin Scott, and Cody Griffin.
we suck again. The fans are desperate behind the fence at Deegan's Motorhome. Probably trying to watch the poor kid change underwear. I just want an autograph, but Jesus, there was a time and place for that. It's coming gone. Yeah, we got a fan running alongside. Yeah. Thanks, boys. Cheer for me, even though I suck. I love it. Yeah. Oh my God. They all want to see tits. Mine or yours? I don't know. <laughs> this has been like pretty much the whole drive. YouTube, we are about halfway home. I knew it was gonna be a tough one coming in, having to use my stock head and cylinder. The only mods we had on the bike now were the reeds and the pipe. So I knew it was gonna be tough, but wasn't gonna let that deter us. We still sent it as hard as we could. The first practice, I actually felt like I rode my ass off. I felt like I rode good and uh, my lovely girlfriend behind the camera, she had the pit board said 40. I could not believe it. I was 44th after first practice somehow track was pretty fast also there, there was tons and tons of european talent we had some australians we there was all kinds of guys out there and, and honestly without all these extra guys i think i may have made it in but obviously that doesn't mean anything because those guys were there but i actually really more than anything it's just cool these guys would rather come race this series over here than than race back at home they'd rather do all this to come race a few rounds of American series. So it just says a lot about the competition in the series. And then obviously this doesn't matter at all either, but it's, I'm kind of just using it to try to, to stay on the positive side. But right after my practice where I was P40 and, and 450 group A, I looked at the 250 class and I would have been 19th, like same same speed as like Pierce Brown, like a second off of Kitchen and Dax Benick, like really good guys. So again, it doesn't mean shit cause I still didn't make it, but at least it just, kind of makes me feel like I really am not riding bad because those guys are on 250s too and their times were really close to mine so um, obviously I can't race my 250 in the 250 class so uh, making me feel a little bit better but um, we were out in the first practice and the track was pretty smooth in the first practice so I kind of thought that I was going to struggle to get a faster time second practice I was like 37th in the practice but my time was a little slower so we were LCQ bound, no choice. Unfortunately, we're starting to get a little bit too used to it. It's really starting to kind of get old. I really miss filming the LCQs, but racing them has not been great. What can I say? If I want to stop racing them, I should probably start going a little bit faster, but damn it, we tried hard today. But LCQ start, we had not a bad gate pick. I was in a good spot and that LCQ was over before it started. I got yanked really bad at the start. Both people next to me closed me off right away. and. Uh, I was gonna try to like uh, cut back to the inside and try to make some moves But a bunch of people started crashing in front of me and they were just flipping bikes and bodies in front of me I basically had to lock them up and just wait for them to stop crashing so I could go around them And at that point I was all the way in the back. It was pretty much over. So I'll be real with you guys I sat there for a minute. I wasn't gonna qualify anyway So I sat there for a minute and let everyone get out and away from me I wasn't really trying to, to weave through 30th place in an LCQ. It's not on the top of my list and It's definitely not in the contract but I just rode by myself, had some fun, threw some incredibly mediocre whips on the sky shot, and just like, I mean, I paid to race, so I mean, might as well get my money's worth and have a good time, and fourth time in a row, not making it, and up until Southwick, I had never not qualified straight in on the two-stroke without a bike problem, so safe to say we are trending downwards. It's been a struggle. After not riding for three weeks straight, and uh, just the fatigue I've been feeling and stuff. I felt a little better than I expected today. I felt like I rode well with what we had. The, we were just struggling with the motor. I usually can carry uh, third gear through the corners on my mod setup with the 52 rear sprocket. And today I couldn't even come close to doing it with a stock setup. So kind of had to adjust all my riding. But at the end of the day, I knew all this coming in and the right rider would have made it work. And unfortunately the right rider is not the one sitting in front of the camera right here. It's all up to me and we didn't make it happen. Um, I'm not much for, for trying to make excuses or acting like it's somebody else's fault. I'm just trying to give you guys some insight on the day. But that brings us about to where we are right now. It's 11.44 p.m. And supposed to be at the house at 4.10. Not bad. With the storms, though, we probably won't be. Yeah, we have had storms the entire time. It's been raining for all but about 30 minutes of the drive. That's why we had to stop and do a recap underneath the gas station roof <laughs> because it's been raining too loud. We haven't been able to. My lovely girlfriend's been driving. Thank you, babe. I love you. 
And now it's my turn. The night shift's my deal. I'm taking over, and we're going to get this ship home. I appreciate all you guys' support. Everybody that, that came out to see me today, even though I kind of sucked, I really, really appreciate it. It's so cool that you guys, like, want to come out and see me. It's still a little bit surreal to me. And I even, this was, like, one of the coolest moments I've ever had. I had somebody tell me today that they started watching motocross because of my videos. Now, I couldn't tell you how in the hell that happened. Like, I'm just some <laughs> Joe with a phone and a YouTube. But, like, I love motocross a lot. I have a lot of passion for it. So, to spread that passion and love for the sport to somebody else, like that about made my day right there and thank you to everyone that supports me i appreciate you guys we'll turn it around one day we're not a quitter so we'll keep digging baby no choice said our eta was up to like 420 at one point 404 we crushed it made great time another failure national but you guys know we're committed we're finishing this thing out the circumstances might not be ideal not might not be ideal and i might not be able to talk but we're gonna keep digging thank you guys for watching i appreciate all you guys and we'll catch you guys at bud's creek with super fans stay tuned